typed into Google Jehovah's Witnesses UK, clicked on News, Search Tools, Search Tools, Recent, 24 hours. And there's this link here for the Derby Telegraph, which is a local newspaper for the city or town of Derby. Not sure whether it's a city or town. If it is a city, it's a small one. Darby Jehovah's Witness viewed sick child abuse images because it was an addiction. Gordon Morris, age 64, of Grange Road, Ulverston, Derby, was addicted to watching indecent images of children. A bus driver from Derby who was a practicing Jehovah's Witness has lost his job, his marriage, and has been disowned by two of his children after being caught with indecent images of children. Police found almost 300 sick child abuse images and more than 50 indecent movies of children when they analysed devices they seized from Gordon Morris. Of those, 64 were the most serious category A and detectives also found one extreme pornographic image of a person and an animal engaged in sexual activity, Derby Crown Court was told. <coughs> Morris, 64, was arrested and admitted fully that he had downloaded and viewed the sick pictures and films, telling officers his offending was like an addiction. The images included both girls and boys aged as young as seven, but he said he did not get any sexual gratification, in quotes, from viewing them. Now, he has been handed a suspended prison term after pleading guilty to five counts of possessing the indecent images. David Webster, for Morris, said he has lost his job, lost his marriage, and he has three children, of which two of them have abandoned him. <clears throat> he was a practicing Jehovah's Witness, but he has since left the church. End quotes. Mr. Webster said Morris's wife and the two children who have disowned him continue to abide strictly by their religious beliefs. He added, in quotes, he used to be a bus driver and was an employee who went out of his way to make the passengers travelling on his bus or coach a happy and cheerful experience. But what has happened is that he has fallen prey, not to drink or drugs, but to a different human weakness. Really? I'm saying try hard not to comment on this and just want to read out the straight news. Sam Coe, prosecuting, said police received information that an email address... <coughs> It says inked, but I'm presuming that they mean linked. That an email address linked to Morris had been involved in sending out an indecent image of a child. They executed a warrant at his then home in St Giles Road, Normanton, in November last year and seized a mobile phone, a laptop and a number of SIM cards that belonged to him. Mr Coe said, in quotes, In total they uncovered 35 Category A images and 29 Category A movies. 28 Category B images and 4 movies, and 234 Category C images and 20 movies. There was also a prohibited image and an extreme pornographic image. In his interview, he admitted using software to hide his identity online, and he described his behaviour as like an addiction. End quote. Morris, now of Grange Road, Alverston, admitted possessing the images and was handed a 10-month prison term, suspended for 18 months. He must also attend 30 different one-to-one -one sessions with the probation service to work on his offending. Morris must also carry out 120 hours of unpaid work and he was handed a 10-year sexual harm prevention order. Judge Jonathan Bennett said, in quotes, Real children are being abused and that market exists because people like you, no doubt for hours on your own, indulge their fantasies by downloading and viewing them. People will say, why hasn't the judge sent him to prison? Yeah, you're damn right. The reasons for that are, you are 64, have no prison convictions, there is a prospect or rehabilitation, of rehabilitation, and the probation service think they can work with you. Oh man. <clears throat> you also pleaded not guilty at the earliest opportunity and made full admissions at the police station, end quotes. 
and amazingly the comments are open at the moment normally for these things <coughs> um, the comments are never left open